Welcome back to the Learning to Drive series. On today's video, we're going to learn how to turn left and right from major to minor and from minor to major. This is how to take basic junctions. There's some stuff that we have to do on the run up to the junction to make sure that we're ready and prepared for it. And just like in the moving off and stopping lesson, there's an acronym to help you remember it. This one is MSPSL. Stands for mirrors, signal, position, speed, and look. Once we've done those five things, we're ready to take the junction. Let's put that into practice and learn how to turn left from a minor road into a major road. Before we do that though, let's run through what is a minor road, what is a major road, and that's not to be confused with a main road. For your theory test and in your driving lessons, you're gonna need to know the difference between a minor and a major road. You can usually tell a minor road because it ends and feeds into a major road. You'll normally find a giveaway line or a stop line at the end to tell you that you have less priority than the road that is major. You can see it quite easily here. The minor road has a giveaway line at the end, meaning it's got the least priority, which means that the major road has the most priority. To emphasize the fact that it's a giveaway situation, there might be an upside down triangle on the floor. There might also be a giveaway sign on a post, but those two things just bring more visibility to the fact that it's a giveaway situation. All that we need for a giveaway is double broken white lines. So now we know the difference between major and minor, let's set off and turn left from a minor road into a major road. Prepare, observe, signal and handbrake. Okay, we're approaching our first junction. We're going to turn left at it because we can see that our road is ending and the new road is in front of us. We know that it's going to be minor to major. So firstly, I'm going to check my mirrors, middle and left. Then I'm going to put on a signal about six to eight car lengths before the junction. Then I'm going to adjust my position. When I'm turning left and at a giveaway line, I want to be positioned so that my body language, the position of the car, shows people that I'm turning left. Remember, my signal's only on the left side, so people over here can't see my signal at all. So I need to help them out a little bit. Also, if I've turned slightly, it makes it much easier to get around the curb without straying into the middle of the road. Looking left and right, there's nothing coming, so I can proceed. Notice how much I steered there. I took one full turn on the wheel to get around that 90 degree corner comfortably. Okay, let's do that again now. And this time I'm gonna turn right on the same junction. So exactly the same procedure, mirror signal, position speed, and then look. Let's run through that now. Firstly, I'm gonna check the middle and the right mirror this time. If there's something on my left, it's not too much of a concern unless I need to steer left to get to that junction. So let's be efficient and check the correct mirrors. Notice where the hazard lines start in the middle of the road. I'm gonna signal there. That's almost always the perfect timing. Then my positioning, I'm just next to the center line of the road. My speed is dropping down into first gear. I'm gonna check right and left and I can see because I've approached the junction really slowly that there's nothing coming. So I didn't stop at the giveaway line. You definitely you definitely don't always have to stop at giveaway lines if the visibility is clear and you can see there's nothing coming. In fact, you shouldn't. Okay, now let's run through that again, but this time I'm gonna speed it up and show you how you should be doing it by the time you've had some practice and you're ready for your driving test. Coming up to the center lines of the road, mirror and signal. Adjust my position, start thinking about speed. I'm braking, 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 straight into first gear before I get to the giveaway line. Really slow walking speed, left, right check, and I'm off. Here's something useful to note. We've just turned minor to major, so we would call this the major road, but that only applies to one junction. We're now coming up to the end of the road, and this road ends and feeds into another road. So this road is now minor to the road that I'm gonna turn into. Now we've done some turns minor to major, let's do some major to minor. For this, I'm gonna turn left. We don't have the guides and the indicators that we did on the minor to major, so we need to look for the gaps in houses or gaps in parked cars. I can see my junction there. I'm about six to eight car lengths back from it, so I'm gonna start, mirror, signal, position. This time I wanna be about a meter away from the curb. Speed and look. Let's do that again. So, there's my junction, I'm turning left again, mirrors, middle and left, signal, position, a meter away from the curb, and my speed can go down into first gear for this one because it's really tight and I can't see around the bend. And I'm looking around. What am I looking for? There could be children playing, cyclists, anything in the new road. Yes, I've got priority into that road, but priority is something you can only give. You can't take it. So I'm always gonna be cautious and look around for anything that might cause me trouble. 
I'm approaching the same junction again, but this time I'm gonna turn right into it. So, I've identified the junction, I can see the gaps in houses and gaps in the trees, gaps in the road, gaps in the pavement, gaps everywhere. So I'm gonna check my mirrors, middle and right this time, signal. My position shouldn't be across the center line of the road, but the road is narrow and there's parked cars. So that's okay in this instance. My speed, I can take this in second gear and I'm looking into the road before I turn. Why could I take that one in second gear, but this one has to be in first gear? Left turns are much narrower. They're much tighter, you need a lot more steering and you need to be a lot more accurate. Also, because the corner is sharper on the left turn, your visibility is greatly reduced. Let's talk about priority. When you're at a giveaway line, priority is obvious. You've got the least. But when you're turning major to minor, priority can be a little bit more tricky. When you're turning left, you've got the most priority. All that you need to give way to is pedestrians. But when you're turning right, you're crossing the path of another vehicle. You're using a side of the road that's not yours. So if there's anything coming, you're going to need to let them go first. Let's do it. Mirror. Signal position, this vehicle's got priority over me, I'm gonna need to let them go first. So I'm gonna have to stop, wait for them to go, and then I can turn into the road. There's no hard and fast rule that dictates what your speed should be on each junction, but be sensible. The tighter the junction, the narrower the junction, the less visibility you've got, you should be going a lot slower. I can see through the bushes on this one, so I'm gonna take it in second gear. I can see there was nothing coming. I'm confident as well, so I know that I can steer around that perfectly well. On this one though, let's have a look. Mirror, signal, position. I'm not confident with the visibility. It's quite a tight junction and there's stuff coming towards me. So I've gone into first gear to reduce my speed down to walking pace, and that's okay. When you first do this, you're probably gonna to wanna to take all of your junctions in first gear, whether it's left, right, major to minor, or vice versa. But once your skills build, you should be taking the junction at an appropriate speed. And if that means second gear, that means second gear. I'm gonna pull up on the right. So mirror, signal, and move into the side of the road. Okay, that was how to take basic junctions. Now go out and practice. If you need any more help with this, drop a comment in the comments section. And while you're there, leave a like on the video. So YouTube recommends this to other people as well. Now you can click on this box to find every other video in the Learning to Drive playlist. See you on the next one. Safe drive.